Hi everybody. So this is the fifth video in my beginner copywriting series. Um, today's video is going to be pretty short. So what we're going to do today is simply do a comparison. And what we're going to be comparing is both your responses you wrote to your customer survey that I gave you a couple videos ago, and then the one from yesterday, which is on your brand survey. So all you gotta do is take both pieces of paper that you wrote down, put them side by side, and now we all we have to do is answer the simple question of, does your product brand match with your customer? All right, so just go back through and look at the description you wrote of your brand on the first set of questions there and ask yourself, what does your brand stand for? And then I want you to go through your descriptions of what your ideal customer is, make notes of what their challenges are and what they face as far as needs and goals. And then ask yourself, does this line up? Do do both items line up? Um, a couple additional questions you'll want to ask are, if you were this ideal customer, would you buy a product from your brand? Why or why not? Does your product meet your ideal customer's needs? And if they do, how so? And then ask yourself, if your product does not match your customer's needs, is it a matter of not knowing your customer or is the perception of your brand skewed? Um, the reason why I'm saying that is this last point, it's important because your reputation is going to matter more than your marketing. It, it, you know, you can do all the ad writing you want. If your brand has a bad reputation, it's going to basically outweigh any level of advertising. Um, it, it, it's, it, it's a bit like, it, we, we, we've all seen the, the, these sort of like terrible corporations before, the sort of stereotyped um, organizations that have these, um, these massive sort of brand statements and logos and, and mission statements that don't match up with the company, right? Like, like, like if, I, if I remember correctly, I think FIFA, um, who has like obviously a terrible reputation, but very, very well known for its corruption. But I think FIFA's like mission statement or goal statement is to bring the world together through sports or something like that, or connect the world through sports or something. It doesn't line up. Obviously, you know that, that the brand, like the messaging they're putting out does not match their actual reputation of what they are. And so, before we start going through the copy, it's important to just make sure that your brand actually is authentic and that it actually does match up with what your intention is. Um, again, once this is not, you know, I think for most people, this is not really an issue. I think for most people that have their own um, companies, if you're doing this for your own product, if you're doing this for an organization you're working for, I'm sure you already know the reputation. I'm, I'm, I'm sure, and I'm sure this probably is not going to necessarily be an issue, but it's important to point this out early on before we start getting into actually writing the copy itself. Now, coincidentally, that's actually what we're gonna start getting into in tomorrow's video. So tomorrow's video is gonna be all about the pre-writing. So in essence, this is, this is gonna be one of the last steps before actually writing the copy itself, um, but we're, we're going to start basically taking everything we've done from our brand and customer comparisons that we did today, and we're going to start going through and actually coming up with a few preliminary questions we want to lay out first before actually writing the copy. All right, so I will get into that tomorrow, but for now, just go through your your brand survey and your ideal customer survey that we went over the past couple days, compare the two, and then just answer those three questions that I brought up earlier. If you're a customer, would you buy the product from your brand? Does your product or service meet your ideal customer's needs? And if your product does not match your customer's needs, is it not knowing your customer well enough or is it because a perception with your brand is skewed?